Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Fireside Chat Gaming Edition, where we discuss all things gaming. I'm your host, Lucas, and today we are discussing about how gaming companies can scale their support and enhance the player experience. Uh, I'm joined by Apurav Agrawal, uh, Senior Manager of Player Support from Riot Games. Apurav, thank you very much for your time and welcome. Thank you, Lucas. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you. I'm really looking forward to our chat and uh, you know, talking about gaming and CX in general with you. Thank you very much. Um, before we move forward, why don't you give us a quick background of yourself and your current role? Absolutely. So my name is Apurav and I'm uh, currently working with Riot Games based out of our Singapore office. In my current role, I'm looking after player support operations for APAC region. And uh, as part of player support operations, uh, one of our core focus areas is to really resolve any pain point that our player experience uh, when playing or interacting with any of our products. So uh, we want to make sure that our players get back into the game and can enjoy the intended experience. And uh, before working for Riot Games, I had worked in the customer experience space uh, with a healthcare company as well as with Uber. And prior to even before I got into CX, I was working in innovation and design thinking with uh, Electrolux and Merck in Europe. So now it's been about five years for me in Singapore, working uh, currently with Riot Games and talking a bit more about Riot Games because not many of you would know about it. Uh, we have our popular game called League of Legends. That's uh, what everyone knows Riot Games from. And that was uh, launched in 2009. And uh, off late in 2019, 2020, that's when we earned the S in Riot Games, uh, where we launched uh, other game titles uh, called Valorant, um, uh, TFT, Legends of Runeterra, some of the games uh, that you may have heard of. And besides our games, we also have a huge focus on esports as well as entertainment. So just throwing uh, you know, uh, a mention out there. So on the entertainment piece, we have our popular Netflix series called Arcane, which is based on the League of Legends universe. So it's a must watch and highly recommend that. Thank you so much for that intro. Um, I want to start with something you mentioned, and it's it's the mission, right? Uh, when we last spoke, you shared Riot's Games mission statement, which is um, to be the most player focused company in the world. And one of the ways this manifests in terms of player support is by guaranteeing success for players in their biggest moments. And I really love that part because uh, someone's biggest moment uh, might not be a big moment for someone else, but for them specifically, it's a huge issue. So I wanna hear from you, what does this statement uh, mean for you and your team? And how do you guys live and breathe that on a daily basis? Yeah, no. Uh... Riot's mission, as you, Lucas, pointed out, is to be the most player-focused company in the world. And that is deeply resonant with everyone that works at Riot and even in the products, the games that we build, right? And for us as player support, um, our goal is to make sure that we are getting our players back into the game and that they can enjoy the intended gaming experience and not face any interruptions, right? And the biggest pain points or uh, the biggest experiences are the ones that matter to players the most. Imagine if there's a new game being launched. There's so much excitement for a player, right? They want to be playing the game. So the last thing that they would want is, you know, an issue preventing them from playing the game that they're most excited about. And that's where for us as player support, we want to make sure that we guarantee success for our players in these big moments. And that's not easy, right? Because just talking about gaming industry in general, uh, the way our products are, it's hard to know where you're going to get that stickiness uh, or where you're going to get that adoption for your particular game, right? And even more so, what kind of issues would our players experience? You can predict for most issues, but those are not the ones that caught you, uh, catch you off guard, right? So making sure that we are planning well making sure that we are going ahead. And even when our players are facing these issues in these big moments, we are able to solve that quickly and make sure that they get back into the game. So that's one of those uh, core uh, areas where our team is really galvanizing all our energy towards. And, and obviously you guys really exploded uh, during COVID 
Uh, League of Legends was everywhere. It was massive growth. There was a huge spike in terms of number of players, in terms of volume, in terms of overall interest for your games and your services. Um, I'm sure there were a lot of learnings from that period of time. So I'm curious to understand how do you, how do you guys approach growth and scale when it comes to new launches, new services, or just expanding on your already existing games and services? Yeah, no, that's a very, very uh, top of mind topic for us uh, here at Riot and even more so within um, our player support uh, function, right? As I was give, mentioning in the introduction as well, early on we had one game and then we had this period when we launched multiple products, right? And COVID was a period in general, which was a booming period for the gaming uh, industry. And it just so happened that Riot launched multiple products within that period. So for us, one of the big learnings was that we realized that there were certain markets where we did not expect the games to do so well, right? And we were still very uh, sort of uh, siloed in the way we had set up our operations. And we realized that when we are going ahead and launching multiple games and in such a concentrated period of time, our operations need to be set up for scale. We need to have that global flexibility to be able to deploy workforce or to be able to deploy a tech stack within a matter of hours. Because as a player, you do not want to be waiting on an issue to be resolved in a period of like three or four days. You want that resolved within hours and speaking to that theme about it's a big moment for you, right? And that's what we took away as one of our biggest learnings that for future, when we are going ahead and launching big games, big events, how is it that we can go ahead and really not just go by the conventional methods, but really try and uh, make our processes flexible as well as our technology ready to be able to solve these pain points in a matter of an uh, in matter of hours and this was uh th this continues to be tested whenever we have big launches uh, time and time again